Hey guys, what's up Pisces? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. It's going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, and the obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. Keep in mind that the energy can go both ways, so this could be your energy or the energy of the person that you're dealing with, so flip-flop it how you need to. Also keep in mind, this is a general reading, so take what's yours, leave the rest behind. If this does resonate with you today, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys would like to contact me for a personal reading, you find that information below as well. Alright, Pisces. Be a good job. Alright. Alright, cool. Three cards for Pisces, please in the future. Oh damn, alright. Feelings and feelings and feelings, and then we end up with Uncertainty, confusion, options, choices, something. We have the two and the three of cups. So there's a bond between you and someone. It's a deep bond. There's love there. There's love on both sides of it. Possibly dating or trying to reconcile. Could have started out with friends or friends are getting in the way. Um, show me this two of cups for Pisces, please. Because we're ending with the two of pentacles. So somebody's still not certain. Aquarius energy. There's hope. You see this as your wish. <clears throat> Somebody wants like an opportunity to rebuild this, to work on things. And that's like on both sides. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, there's still hope here. Yeah, see the Page of Cups and the Nine of Cups. You have both wish fulfillment cards here. This definitely tickles your fancy. This is where your heart lies. Lots of romantic feelings like deep gazes that type of thing but it's been a it's been a journey it hasn't been easy could have children with this person somebody could kind of just shut down but they're trying to revisit now and there is love here this could be an apology but there's looking like there's an invitation here to reconcile to get drinks to hang out could be a date but somebody wants this They've been through a lot, but wanting to push forward, wanting to end old cycles and begin new ones, wanting to change shit up, Gemini energy with the lovers. So there is definitely a deep bond here. Cancer energy with the chariot. Things are trying to move forward, being on the right track, finding that balance and obtaining it. So it's funny how we're ending up with the two of pentacles because i mean shit is just flowing pretty naturally i mean i get it's been hard in the past but there's that tower there's something changing groundbreaking like shaking shit up somebody may all right look i don't know what the hell just happened because the second time i've seen that eight of cups right there so it's definitely supposed to be there it's like out of the blue, somebody wants, they could be a little hard-headed. There could have been some deceit. Somebody, this, somebody wanting to win at all costs, right? So you turn your back and you're walking away from something. You're turning your back possibly towards this, towards another situation. Where are they, um, where are they walking to? Possibly towards the Aries Leo Sag. Yeah, see, um, th there's with the Six of Wands, this is somebody who, you could have a lot of admirers with this, with the Queen of Wands, she's magnetic, she's out there, she's busy, and with this Six of Wands, you could be seen in the public eye, or this person could be, you may turn your back towards this. Or 
or towards another situation because you definitely could have multiple admirers. There's a lot of physical attraction, but the Queen of Wands is also confident. She's like um, always busy. She attracts people towards her. A lot of five of swords. So you may not have this. You may be just very determined to not work on this. See, there's an X here. There's somebody, there's like a lot of physical attraction here. But there's been, there's been some rough times and you may feel like this is toxic and you may feel like you have to break free from it. But nonetheless, someone's on their back here. And there was a lot of love, but that it got it got rough for whatever reason. Show me this two of pentacles for the outcome for Pisces. Taurus energy with the higher fence. So, okay. Um with the two of pentacles, that's somebody going back and forth. Could be weighing your options, just uncertain. Could be just going back and forth in the same damn loop with the same situation. With the Hierophant there, that's Taurus energy. So you also could be battling like with your religious beliefs, things like that. Somebody could be going back and forth between relationship and relationship. Um, give me one card about this outcome for Pisces. See, somebody is trying to manifest something, but it's like looking for answers and then it ends up in a stalemate. Like the situation doesn't get made, so it makes it real hard to manifest. There's answers there's needed. There's clarity that's needed. Possibly like there's situations, I'm not going to call it people, but situations that need to be cut out or talked about, openly discussed. Because it's like things just kind of go back and forth. So they end up at a speed bump or at a crossroads. So what is this outcome for Pisces? How does Pisces feel about this? The devil. Capricorn energy. Yeah, so you may, it's like, it's almost like it may be too difficult. You try to see things from all perspectives. You may want to work on it, though. Talking about this devil. Person, it's almost like an obsession on someone's part as well. It's like obsessed with you with that devil in that queen of wands and the six of wands. Thank you. The four of wands. So this could be like a marriage, a commitment, something like that, that kind of just keeps repeating. We have two long-term commitments here with the devil. So, at the very least, there's still some uncertainty here on someone's part. There's still something that's like trying to move forward, but still holding on to that, whatever that devil is. Yeah. So, it started, it starts out really loving, really loving, dovey, mutual, happy. And then this transformation, this tower moment kind of takes it for a loop. And it's somebody turning, you know, very determined here, very confident in the way that it's like you're turning your back here. Could have a little swag to the way that you do it. Because you could have, you know, like I said, a lot of admirers. So there's a choice here that kind of doesn't get made. But also it's almost like being, for some, it's like um, things just keep going back and forth like a ping pong. So, you know, it, it never really progresses. It's just kind of the same cycle here. Like keep manifesting and it goes through this change, Scorpio energy. Because there is something long-term or stable trying to happen here. But... And there is love. It's just something that keeps like wearing someone out. And I don't think that's about to let up any. Yeah, see, disappointment, regret to work with this person. Someone, you know, it's just, it's just not balanced, it's not even.
All right, Pisces. I hope this helped. I hope this resonated. If so, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, you find that information below as well. You guys take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.